Welcome back to Rebel for our table, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, I'm Tristan Harlan here alongside my best friend, my co-partner, my partner in crime, Cooper, the juice box melter. Cooper, how you doing, my friend? I'm doing good. We got Red Wolf Roundtable back on the show. You know what people say, if you want to have the best, you got to keep the best. So they're keeping the best show on air and live. Yeah, man. So we had a lot of stuff going on this past weekend. So let's go ahead and send it to our news desk correspondent, Ella J. Britt. Ellie, how you doing, my friend? I'm great, Cooper and Tristan. How are y'all? I am Ella Jane Britt and welcome back to the Red Wolf Roundtable News Desk. The Arkansas State Red Wolves volleyball team is played in the SFA Invitational this past weekend where they battled all three sets but sadly did not win. They lost to the host, the Lady Jackets. If you would like to see these Red Wolves in action, you can see them play Friday at 6 p.m. and Saturday at 1 p.m. where they will be opening Sunbelt Conference play against Georgia Southern. You can join them at First National Bank Arena or watch the games live on ESPN+. The A-State women's soccer team did not come out on top against Texas State this past weekend in the first weekend of Sunbelt Conference play, where they dropped the game 2-1. Their next game is set for Thursday at 3 p.m., where they will take on Marshall at home, or you can watch it on ESPN Plus live. The Arkansas State football team took a hard loss to Memphis this past Saturday, walking away with a game score of 44-32. Reports indicate that Robert Holmes has suffered a knee injury, might possibly be his ACL, this past weekend, where he will be set out for the remainder of the season. A-State is set to take on Old Dominion this Saturday in Norfolk, Virginia. Or you can also catch this game live on ESPN+. This game is set to kick off at 5 p.m. The Arkansas State Red Wolves cross-country team has participated in the Rhode Island Invitational at Shelby Parks Farms this past weekend, where they, are gained, where they have gained two more titles. Robert Piatt won the individual crown in the men's 8K while finishing at a collegiate best of 25 minutes and 43.7 seconds. Behind that, Dawson Mayberry followed Piatt, finishing just a second behind him, making that 25 minutes and 44.4 seconds. Cooper and Tristan, back to you guys. Thanks, Ellie. Man, Cooper, like she said, A-State did suffer a devastating loss at Memphis. You know, we were there. We'll see some highlights from that game later and a little bit of activities that Easton and myself kind of got to enjoy before kickoff. But man, that Memphis game was a heartbreaker for every A-State fan alike. You came in there and, you know, we're just going to talk about it a little bit, not to get too much carried into it just yet. But man, you walk in there, high hopes, high expectations for your football team to come in there, get a dub and get set where your season starting conference play two on one. But unfortunately, that just did not the way that the good Lord intended it. Yeah, you know, it was honestly easy to say. It was a heartbreaker, like you're saying, because, you know, A-State, you, you know, after seeing the, that first half against Ohio State, you had high expectations. And, you know, A-State, if you just take out that last final drive, they played a great game. When, you know, push came to shove, they were always fighting back. And like you're saying, we'll get it more into it. But, you know, at the end of the day, it was a, it was a heartbreaker. Yeah, Cooper, so like we were talking, you know, we were at the game, you know, we had a lot of fun there in Memphis, but, you know, when we, when, you know, coming up soon, we'll, you know, we'll really break down the rush yards and everything like that, but, man, you know, when you come into that game, and, you know, kudos to Memphis about everything, they were really, they were such a great crowd, they were into it the whole entire game, so, you know, kudos to them, and, you know, man, you know, like I said on the post-game show, you know, Apologies to Memphis and all them for all the stuff we were talking on the show <laughs> and everything before they came out and they handled business like a football team should. But, man, you know, before we get too carried away, we're going to go to break. You're watching Rebel Front Table on ASU TV. ASU TV. Shows like Red Wolf Roundtable, ASU TV News, Westside Football, and more. Gain real life experience while doing what you love. Get involved with ASU TV today.
ASU TV, covering all your favorite sports. From Red Wolf Roundtable to West Side Football and more, ASU TV has you covered. Tune in now to ASU TV for news and coverage on these sports and more. ASU TV News, your local source for news, weather, A-State events, and more. Tune in to ASU TV News now. At Arkansas State, we want you to go. Go where learning soars, takes flight, and rockets ahead. Go for experiences, internships, and scholarships. We want you to go. Become A-State main. Are you ready to go? Go.astate.edu for details. Welcome back to Rebel Front Table, guys. And, you know, real quick before we get into everything, we want to say a special welcome back to all of our friends watching on TubeTown. We are blessed to be your source for A-State athletic news. But, Cooper, let's go ahead and dive right into the paint bucket bowl rivalry. Let's talk about Memphis. Man, it was a fun time. But you know what? Let's talk about those stats that I was talking about before we went to break. you got to look at the rushing yards. That's what, won, that's what lost us the game right there. You know, you look at it. We had 275 passing yards. Great. 95 rushing yards. Garbage. And our total yards, 370, mediocre, and we had 50% on the fourth downs. Man, you cannot have that if you're playing a primetime opponent like Memphis. Memphis went in there, they played their, they played their brand of football, but man, it was great. You got to look at some of the highlights if you want to know what really went down. James Blackman dropped that looking. Found say do that man right over the middle for that pit, for that touchdown for the Red Bulls. Yeah, you know, A-State, they came into the game, you know, with high expectations. But, you know, the passing defense struggled once again. The coverage wasn't there. You know, 360 yards in passing, you're not going to win too many games. And then you let them almost rush for 200 yards. You're not really going to, you know, you're not going to win many games giving up almost 200-yard passing. I mean, excuse me, 200 yards rushing and 400-yard passing. And, you know, the offense has never been the problem with A-State. Even last year, you know, we may be getting beat by, you know, 20 points, but we have 30 points on the board. It wasn't like our offense really ever struggled. But our defense, when it comes to games like these, you have to get those big stops when they're needed. Because, I mean, we're seeing all these offensive highlights, but, you know, there's not many defensive highlights that we want. Yeah, Cooper, I mean, you brought the defensive highlights yourself, but, I mean, there's a big point of why it's not in there because, I mean, you got to realize this. Memphis played great on offense. Seth Hennigan, absolute dog. He threw all over our defense. And you see James Black with some more offensive highlights. This is, you know, the prime time when we were able to punch that ball in for six, when we were able to take the lead late, and then we went for two. What happened when we went for two? Well, you're watching it right here, my friend. James Blackman, drop back. Look, throws it to the right side. Got it right there. Two points for the Red Wolves. But, man, this is the game, play of the game for the Memphis. Bad snap. Fumbles the ball. James Blackman, no thank you. Not home, but the Memphis Tigers. They get it right there. Boom, bam, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. They were able to get it, and you see the celebratory victory right there for the Tigers. They knew they were fixing to win that ball game, and then right there, bam, touchdown Tigers. Memphis was able to punch that ball in, and they were able to capitalize off a turnover for A-State, which ended up actually – Make it causing them to win that game. Yeah, you know, but before we get into this, we Butch Jones had to say a couple things about the game and upcoming game this week. So let's go see that. Well, I think there's a lot of positive aspects of moving forward, but I would say the way our players believed uh, that they were going to win the football game, the way they competed, uh, they didn't caught up in the emotions of a game and in the ebbs and flows and the momentum swings they just kept competing they believed in each other um 
and I thought we showed a lot of comp competitive spirit and grit. Uh, so from that aspect of it, um, I was really proud of them, and I love coaching this football team. Man, Coach Jones, how could you not love that man right there? You know, everybody was doubting him in the season, but man, he just told you that he loves this team, so why hate the man? But man, you know, Memphis was a heartbreaking loss. We got to get ready for Old Dominion, and guess what? Not only will we have a special feature when we come back with me for me and Easton's pregame festivities, but we got a special guest coming, and it's not your usual guest. It's a good friend of ours. It's a good friend of the fans. But when we come back, you'll see all the festivities right here on Rebel Frown Table. ASU TV, shows like Red Wolf Roundtable, ASU TV News, Westside Football, and more. Gain real life experience while doing what you love. Get involved with ASU TV today. ASU TV, covering all your favorite sports. From Red Wolf Roundtable to Westside Football and more, ASU TV has you covered. Tune in now to ASU TV for news and coverage on these sports and more. ASU TV News, your local source for news, weather, A-State events, and more. Tune in to ASU TV News now. At Arkansas State, we want you to go. Go where learning soars, takes flight, and rockets ahead. Go for experiences, internships, and scholarships. We want you to go. Become A-State main. Are you ready to go? Go.astate.edu for details. Pouncer. Pouncer, what's your score prediction for today's game? Not a fan. I'm a little guy in our state. Let's be honest, we are. Y'all are the little guy in your state. Um, and so for us, we're neighborhood rivals. And um, 
I mean, we followed you all the way back from when your name was, before your name was changed. So. Right. Uh, and it was always, uh, you know, a lot of times, I don't know what the records are, but I, I think we might have had the, uh, the better, uh, the more wins than y'all. Yes, sir. But, uh, oh, my goodness, last year uh, I met the love of my life. Love, I love your stadium. What's your score predictions for today's game? 27-24 Memphis. All right. We're favored by 14, but I don't believe that. What about you? What do you think score uh, prediction? 21-28. Memphis? Yeah, of course. Would I ever say anything else? I mean, if you want to bet the right money. What about you? I would say 28-17. I'm here with one of the most iconic Memphis fans of all time, in my opinion. This is Mr. Phil Glass. For those of you that don't know, he has one of the most iconic get-ups in Memphis football history behind my best friend Jake Brewer's blue M that he's taken from his dad. Mr. Glass, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. So this is a robber game for both Arkansas State and Memphis. What, what does this robber game mean to not only you, but your family, your friends, and other Tiger fans alike? Well, when it comes to games like against Arkansas State, you know, uh, I know like even Memphis goes back a few years ago, we played in a lesser conference, as well. and I don't mean that in a negative way, but uh, but these regional robberies, you know, it's what keeps the competition and, and uh, you know, it's what the game of football is all about. And, and uh, you know, we're Memphis, Jonesboro, we're our part. Uh, you know, I think most of us on, on either location are, are people that we root for our the other team when we're not playing each other type thing. And so, but but it, it's it's the respect. Uh, you know, it's about bringing localities together, and uh, you know, just having fun, having a good time, and enjoying. You know, it creates. You always have more fans because everybody's so close, and uh, you know, and, and that's what makes a good football game. Yes, sir. So. It's a new era for Memphis football, getting, getting a new turf and new names of the stadium, Simmons Bank, Liberty Bowl, or Liberty Stadium. You know, it's always going to be Liberty Bowl to me. Right. Uh, what's been some of your favorite moments inside this building when it comes to Arkansas State and Memphis? Uh, you know, uh, that's, that's, a, that's a good question. I mean, you know, it, this has been one of those, again, it's a rivalry that's gone back for years, and, you know, I'm – not to give away my age, but I'd go back to, you know, when a lot of people don't realize that this was called the uh, paint bucket bowl, Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. and, uh, you know, it's just, it's the grassroots. I, I don't know if there's just one specific moment that says, hey, it stands out. Uh, I, I'm really excited that, you know, the the game, the robbery hadn't been in place for a few years. And, and now that it's back, you know, that's what that's really what excites me about this. It, it's 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 back and it's something we can look forward to every year. Uh, you know, whether it's traveling Jonesboro or our games here in Memphis, uh, you know, I don't even call it a away game when we're in Jonesboro, right. you know. And so uh, it's just a, it's just a, it's a good regional robbery. And uh, again, I really can't say there's one moment that just sticks out. You know, Arkansas State's not a team that, that you can take for granted. Just like Memphis has been there, you know, we're both we're both teams that play with heart and soul. You know, we don't always have the best talent on the field, but we, we got the best heart and soul on the field. And when these type two teams get on the field together, I mean, we saw it last year, it looked like equal teams just oh, yeah. battling out. And, and that's what makes football enjoyable and fun. Right. So I've got to ask this, and this is a question I've had for you since I met you, but what goes into this whole iconic warrior getup that you always have for Memphis home games? Uh, you know, it all started with another rivalry Memphis has. In 2015, we were playing Ole Miss. Uh, you know, normally I have the mask and stuff yes, on. Sir. I hadn't put it on yet today, but – but I uh, had Ole Miss fans making fun of me when we were playing on that game. And then the uh, first time I ever wore a mask, and then when we kicked their butts, uh, I vowed to always wear the mask. And the outfit kind of developed from there. It just kind of evolved over the past five, six years. My wife's family is real involved with Scottish heritage and stuff. And so the outfits just kind of evolved. I was at a, actually a Scottish event and kind of saw these, you know, you think of a kilt and some people might say a skirt or a dress well I saw these very manly men you know in these warrior things I'm kind of like 
I can do something with that. And so it just kind of happened. I, I tried it one game, and the fans' responses, and for me especially, it's the kids. You know, I, I grew up with the medicine man. You know, he was an idol. And so I'm kind of getting to be that to some of our younger generations. And, you know, honestly, there's games like it's going to be hot today that it, it's miserable putting on the outfit. But, but I know it, it's about the kids and the players and the coaches and, and just, you know, pouring my heart out. And, and that, that's why I do it. All right, so – Last, last but not least, what is a score prediction that you have today for tonight's paint bucket bowl rivalry between the Rebels and the Tigers? Uh, you know, I think both teams are going to come in. It's going to be a competitive game. It's going to be a fourth quarter game. As a Memphis fan, I'm going to say it's going to be 36-31 Tigers. All right, guys, we're back. I hope you enjoyed the tailgate of adventures with Easton and myself. Now, I want to introduce you to someone very near and dear to my heart, and this is Mr. James Lyre. He is a cameraman for the creative team here at A-State. And you know what, James? I'll let you do the rest. Go ahead and introduce <laughs> yourself to our fine fans. Well, first off, thank you for having me on the show today, and I really appreciate you and Cooper for having me. I'm really excited. But, yes, I'm James Lowry. I am a senior here at Arkansas State University. I am a creative media production, sports media major. Um, I do work for the camera uh, team here, creative at A-State Athletics. Uh, Mr. Peyton Burr and Kobe Wood, I've been working with them for about two years now, and I've gotten a lot of experience, and I'm really happy to be working with those guys, and it's it's been an experience. Yeah, so uh, James, you know, thank you for being a part of the show today. You know, we've been trying to get you on for a long time now. We've finally <laughs> been able to, you know, set the date, get it all squared away. But guys, let's go ahead and dive into the reason why James is here today. Let's go ahead and preview Old Dominion football, you know. <laughs> Unlike uh, unlike Louie over there in England, we actually still have our monarch. So let's go ahead and look at a couple key players that is going to be very vital for this game for the Red Bulls. You know, we got two premier running backs that are going to be very key if we want to win this game here for the Red Bulls. You got Johnny Sneed, or yeah, Johnny. He's going to be great. He's going to be able to run the ball. You know, Coach Jones and his presser, he called him a complete running back. But Cooper, what about what about you? What are you thinking for this game? A state, I mean, we saw it week one. We got, we're gonna have to be able to run the ball because you know we already know we can do it through the air in the passing game, but we're gonna have to establish the run game early. So you know, James, what do you think is gonna be the key to victories for state here? I honestly agree with you, Cooper. Um, Lang and Snead, man, he's a different. You, his just his build alone, like. The way he's built, is he's just a complete running back. He can gain the extra yardage and the run after the catch. Blackman, he's been on point. I feel like our passing game has been well these past couple of games, and I feel like it's going to continue here. Well, guys, real quick, let's go ahead and take a look at some ODU players that are going to be premier. Let's start on the offense. They've got a premier guy on that side of the ball. You know, Ali, he's going to be a very dangerous start to look for. He's got 20 catches, almost 500 yards, four touchdowns, and his yards per reception, 21. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the defensive side of the ball. They've got a guy who's already got a bunch of tackles on that side of the ball. He's got 42, he's got a sack, he's got a couple of assisted tackles, and he's got 12 solo tackles. So that's going to be great. But guys, you know what? Before we get into our predictions, you know what? We're going to we're going to tease it a little bit. We're going to take a little break before we get into our predictions, guys. This has been Rebel Front Table. We'll be back after this. ASU TV, shows like Red Bull Brown Table, ASU TV News, Westside Football, and more. Gain real life experience while doing what you love. Get involved with ASU TV today.
ASU TV, covering all your favorite sports. From Red Wolf Roundtable to Westside Football and more, ASU TV has you covered. Tune in now to ASU TV for news and coverage on these sports and more. ASU TV News, your local source for news, weather, A-State events, and more. Tune in to ASU TV News now. At Arkansas State, we want you to go. Go where learning source takes flight and rockets ahead. Go for experiences, internships, and scholarships. We want you to go. Become A-State main. Are you ready to go? Go.astate.edu for details. Welcome back to Rebel Round Temple, guys. It's finally time to dive into some predictions for the ODU versus A-State game. James, since you're our guest of honor today, I'll let you go ahead and start. What do you think about this week's game? Um, I'm really looking forward to it. It's our first meeting, like, in the conference with Old Dominion, so I'm excited to see how this new chemistry between these two teams get going. I hope we get this win between with the running game and the passing game, so I'm just really excited to see what's going on. You got a score prediction? I got the Red Wolves 28-14. All right, Cooper, what about you, my friend? You know, last week I kind of went out on a limb. Missed terribly. Pretty bad. <laughs> kind of like Shaq at the three-point line. Yes, and so now we're going to go 35-32 to 32 state game-winning field goal. All right, well, I'm going to go out on a limb and say 28-21. A-State, I think Johnny Lane's going to have a good game. I think the defense is going to go back and forth, but I think A-State's going to come out with a win. And, guys, you know what? I think it's time we send it back out to our news desk correspondent, Ellie Britt. Ellie? Just as a reminder, A-State is set to take on Old Dominion this Saturday in their sub belt conference opener. Kickoff is set for 5 p.m. You can watch the game on ESPN Plus Live. You can also listen to the game live on the EAB Red Wolf Sports Network. Back to you, Tristan and Cooper. Well, guys, I think that just about does it for us here at the, at the desk for Red Wolf Roundtable. You know what? That's Cooper. That's James. I'm Tristan Hart, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. And, guys, hopefully next time we'll be back. When we're back, we'll be talking about an A-State victory. Definitely. Oh, for sure. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Red Wolf Roundtable on ASU TV.